this first band here it forcefully paid and if you go up a little bit this bright band is your triglyceride right so this is the reason why we have to use it you can put bring the second one so you can also see she did a very very good job uh you can see that hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to do tlc and i'm not doing it alone. i have a very special person <laughs> with me today so what's your name yeah and hi then, guys what program are you doing um i'm in nutrition program okay at the university of abella right yeah so we're actually the same department uh she also is doing masters i'm doing phd so we're trying to do a TLC today. So I want to show you guys how to do TLCs. And uh, if you're first time coming to my channel, I make videos you know, regarding PhD in Canada, you know, USA, um, UK, and other places, right? And then if you want to subscribe, please do well. You know, I like this video so that it helps other people to get to see this video. So without further ado, uh, I'll just give you a background of what, actually what TLC, what we're actually going to do, uh, what TLC is to so TLC is, um, thin layer chromatography right mm -hmm, so yeah. I, have you been enjoying the TLC so far um yes but it takes a long time ah, okay yeah, mm -hmm. yeah yeah so I've been training her on how to do TLC so now I want to train you on how to do um, TLC so, uh, so basically TLC is um, if you have um, lipids you know and then you want to you know separate that lipid into different composition then you can use TLC to mm -hmm. separate the lipid into a different composition. And then once you've separated it, then you can then, whatever, what, what you've separated, you can use that to run uh, gas chromatography. And there are some few th things you need. So definitely I'm going to need um, a syringe, right? Because uh, this is what they're going to use to do your spotting. So this, is the, uh, this is the TLC plate, okay? So basically we need to, put a line you know across this before we actually do the spotting so um are you ready yeah okay so she's going to be she's going to be doing all the you know putting the line and then doing the spot so one of the things where can you take this up a little bit so one of the things that we want to do we have this um a little bit of a uh, like a glass or plastic panel that we need to use to do all the demarcations and everything because we need to make like equal lines across because we have one plate can take um, three samples so we are doing three samples today so that's why we have um, the second plate uh, this is just an old one that we want to do so uh yeah so she's ready so you can start doing the you can start doing the lines across so the, it, it's marked so we just need to put the line at the bottom and then after that just put the line at the at the at the top as well and then you kind of put a line across so once she is done with the bottom now she needs to mark um, the top of the plate so that you can kind of draw a line you know across i'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what you can continue exactly what she is doing you know just mark all the different sections so this is actually what we use so other people might have you know different things okay so once you're done with um once you're done you know putting the line at the top and at the bottom uh, so the next thing you need to do now is to you know just put a line across so just going to uh, so you just need to draw a line uh from just connecting both dots uh, from the top to bottom so i think you like any so far Mm -hmm. Sure? Yeah. Okay, feel confident? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay, good, good. So you can see now how many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are going to spot um, one sample in duplicate. First sample is going to be here. Second sample, third sample. And then if you have a standard, then you can also put a standard there as well. Uh, one of the things you can also do, uh, you can also just label the top with the particular sample number, so that's exactly, you know, what she's um, what she's doing now. So because the sample is going to be in duplicate, so uh, yeah, that's going to be the standard line. So you can actually just you can zoom in to see sample nine, sample eleven, and then sample thirteen, and then the last line is going to be standard. So basically, uh, she wants to do the spotting, and then when you are doing the spotting, it has to be done, you know, um, it doesn't have to be too wide because 
once this separation is on you want every sample to be very distinct and in the you know and not um you know merging with the other samples so do it gently it's just going to dry up anyways because it's in chloroform methanol but the sample is going to be in there so basically we can spot um you know this particular sample can particular TLC plate can take about uh, three samples so as you can see here we have different numbers so we can actually spot them in uh, in duplicates asking a ransom questions are you ready yeah so um, so how far are you in your master's program now I'm in my second year now. second year yeah and then do you want to do a PhD <laughs> maybe maybe yeah okay let's see and do you want to become a professor uh, that's one of the choice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> He's actually going to do the, we're now in the last sample for the TLC. Uh, TLC specialist for the day, right? Thank you for helping out with the TLC. No problem. Thank you. So just going to watch as she spots the very last sample. So like we've done before, we just have to do, you know, everything in, um, in duplicate. So you spot the first one and then. So we're actually done doing our spotting now. So now it's, uh, we need to put it in a, in a separate. So this tank is actually what is going to separate all of the lipids, okay? So we already had, normally, the tank that we're going to use need to be ready at least an hour before you start this is the um, the tank so it's a petroleum ether the ether, ether and an acetic acid combination so this is what is going to separate the lipids so samples in there gradually and then cover it and then allow it to separate So just gradually put it in there and then um, if you want you know the side can be facing like in uh, in there because we have two plates so we can put one on this side and then put the other one on uh, on the opposite side so the goal is to make sure that they don't touch each other and then uh, once it's done yeah then uh, the next thing is for you to close and then um, and then just cover them so when put it like this so we can be seen it from here okay all right so just put like um, a lead on top such that you can see exactly you know uh, turn the light. yeah so we can see exactly now that it's very low you can see the level yes exactly so we're just going to wait here sometime it gets to about um, somewhere here then now uh, we can take it out right so we just give it about um, 20 25 minutes okay all right so once the um, the plate is about uh, you know a quarter inch to the end you just have to gradually you know put them out and then uh, okay and then just put them here so we can just put them here to dry for about maybe two three minutes as you can see you can't really see anything now until we are going to spray them and then we're going to use this uv light to actually uh visualize start to spray it with uh, this particular answer yeah so just spray the whole plate with this uh, that way it's kind of easy to visualize at the end of the day but the thing is even after spraying it with this particular answer you still can't uh, visualize it until you use the uh, uv lights to do it turn off the light and then uh, on the uv light put it in the long uh, in the long wave now you can see our uh, our spotted sample right so the very first one the first band here it's this first one is your phospholipid and if you go up a little bit this bright band is your triglyceride right so you just going to turn on the uv light and then just mark 
okay so just going to mark to know exactly where each of the sample is basically we just need the first one which is our, our phospholipid so just mark it very closely so you see the reason why i said when you were doing it that to just make sure that it is not too close like uh, if it's not too wide okay the white part so we are really interested in phospholipid and triglyceride so we don't really want other ones so just mark that and then the next step is going to be the scraping the next thing we want to do now is to do the scraping so we're going to actually need this weighing paper and then we're just going to and then this scrape scraping um, this scraping pan so just going to scrape each sample and then put them on the plate on the there's already like a tubes that we've labeled for each sample so just going to scrape and then put it inside so the first thing that you want to do because this first layer we don't actually need it so it's just going to scrape that out and then uh, be left with the next layer which is now your phospholipid so let's see how she's going to scrape the the first one start to basically gradually scrape you know um, the, the samples to the weighing paper and then uh, after that you can then transfer it to your uh, samples I think that's easy to do right so we're actually done doing all the scraping as you can see we've scraped out all of the things that we need from the plate and then this is basically you know the samples you know uh, in their respective glasses and then uh, our tubes so de definitely this is what we're now going to use and then prepare for our JC and then all uh, thanks to Ren uh, so then Ren did all the work today so I want to say thank you for helping us to do all the samples did you really enjoy the process yeah like scratching but the sound is so bad yeah 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 <laughs> so hopefully um we hope you learned how to do tlc now so uh, go give it a try but make sure you follow the protocol for your lab because there are some few things that we didn't cover so see you guys in the next video see ya <laughs>